All right, so the Olympic draw has just come out for the men, and there's no one getting a free ride in this tournament. There's no buys in the first round, so everyone's going to play on day one, and it's going to be really interesting. We've got a lot of players that have pulled out, though, over the last couple of days, so let's go have a look at the withdrawal list first. Okay, so these are the players that have officially pulled out of the tournament and decided not to play because of injury or just because they didn't want to play. Starting with Sinner. He pulled out, of course, with tonsillitis. Unfortunately, the number one in the world, not going to be playing this year's Olympics. Rublev also pulled out with her catch pulling out as well due to knee surgery. Shelton, he also decided not to play the Olympics this year. Runa just pulled out with a wrist injury in the last 24 hours. You've got Manorino, Hashinov, Lehechka all pulling out of the tournament. Korda, Tiafo all deciding as well not to play the Olympics this year. Fakina, Thompson, Jera, Kechmenovic, O'Connell, and Rusevori all deciding not to play this year's Olympics. All right, let's start at the top of the draw here with Novak Djokovic, number one seed. Of course, no one gets a buy in the first round. 16 seeds in this one. And you can see there that Djokovic will take on Ebden, who actually came in last minute as a replacement for Holger Runa. So, you know, Ebden got a little bit of luck, but then very unlucky. He's going to play Djokovic in the first round. Winner of that match will take on either Fucevic or Rafa Nadal. I mean, Nadal, Djokovic, second round. Come on now. Uh, then you've got Rayona taking on Koffer. Winner of that will take on either Rinaldi or the number 14 seed Feast in the second round. Then you've got Baez, number 12 seed, taking on Montero. Winner of that will take on either Eubanks or Hassan in the second round. Then you've got Echigu taking on Evans. Winner of that will take on either Bergs or the number eight seed City Pass in the second round. I'll tell you what, Djokovic's draw, if his knees sore, is not easy. I mean, this is a tougher draw than Wimbledon. Of course, you got to watch out for Djokovic in this one. You got to watch out for City Pass as well. I'd be watching out for Feast, playing at home in France. Plus, he just won in Hamburg. Massive 500 event on the clay courts. Of course, you've got to watch out for Rafa. But I'd also be watching out for Baez and Montero, who are playing in a first round. Very, very capable on clay and could be really dangerous for players like City Pass and maybe even Djokovic as the tournament goes on. All right, next section of the draw, we've got the number three. Three seeds Zverev. He takes on Munar in the first round. Winner of that will take on either Mahach or Zhong in the second round. Then you got Vavrinka taking on Kotov. Winner of that will take on either Poprin or the number 16 seed Jarry in the second round. Then you got Musetti, the 11th seed, taking on Monfils. Winner of that will take on either Navone or Borges in the second round. Very fun matchup there. Then you've got Draper taking on Nishikori. Winner of that will take on either Bublik or the number 7 seed Fritz in the second round. Interesting draw. The big names have got some challenges. Obviously, there's some crazy first round matches there and there's some really scary unseated players as well. Uh, of course, you've got to watch out for Zverev in this section. Uh, you've got to obviously watch out for Fritz as well. Can play on clay. You know, he's shown that he's capable of play on clay. Got to watch out for Musetti. Just made a Wimbledon semi-final and definitely can play on clay. We saw that when he almost beat Djokovic at the French this year. Also, Jarry, very, very, very capable on clay. But I'd also watch out for Vavrinka as well. Of course, a former French Open champion. Really interesting section here. And of course, this section will take on that Djokovic section. So we could be getting Djokovic taken on Zverev, which would be a repeat of Tokyo Olympic semi-final where Zverev got the win that day. Very fun if we get that matchup. We could be getting Djokovic taken on Fritz if you want to go with something a little different or maybe Djokovic taken on Musetti. We know that's a banger matchup on a clay court at least. Maybe not on Kras, but on clay. Uh, if you don't think Djokovic is going to get that far, maybe you want to go with Zverev. Maybe Zverev taking on Nadal if you want to dream big. Or maybe Zverev taking on City Pass, which might feel like that seems a little bit more realistic. But man, it, it could be it could be anyone here. I mean, this is a very interesting draw because the two guys with the biggest seeds are the two guys that have the knee injuries. All right, next section of the draw. We have number six seed Rue takes on Daniel in the first round. Winner of that will take on either Martinez or Vavasori in the second round. Then you've got Sarundalo taking on Vera. Winner of that will take on either Marijan or the number 10 seed on Bear in the second round. Then you've got Ogele Asim, the number 13 seed, taking on Giron. Winner of that will take on either Lajevic or Matera in the second round. Then you've got an alternate who is yet to be decided, taking on Ovna. Winner of that will take on either Hitchikata or the number four seed Mevedev in the second round. Now, this section feels the most open. You've got to watch out for Medvedev just because he's number four seed. And look, maybe he can come good on the clay. you definitely got to watch out for Kasper Ruud. Back-to-back finals of French Open plus the semis this year. He is the man when it comes to playing at this venue. Uh, of course, you've got to watch out for Ogele as well. Very capable on clay. And like I said, I'd be watching out for Sarundalo as well, who pushed Djokovic to five at this event, this stadium, I should say, and venue back in May. All right, bottom part of the draw now, we've got Dimonor, the number five seed, taking on Struff in the first round. That is a crazy first round. The winner of that will take on either Mute or Nagel in the second round. Then you've got Menzik taking on Shevchenko. Winner of that will take on either Dadiri or the number nine seed Paul in the second round. Then you've got the 15th seed Tabillo. He will take on Safiul in the first round. Winner of that will take on either Echeverry or Vilch in the second round. Then you've got Griegsport taking on Nori. Winner of that match will take on either Habib or the number two seed Alcaraz, who was the favorite to win this tournament. Alcaraz is going to be pretty happy with that draw considering he also won the French Open. He hasn't lost at this venue for a couple of, well, for a year or well, in the last 12 months, I guess. But very interesting. You've got to watch out for Alcaraz, of course, in this draw. You've got to watch out for Demon Orb, mainly because of his injury. How bad is that injury? And also playing Struff in the first round is very, very tough. Uh, you've got to watch out for Struff as well as one of the 
the unseated players. I'd also be watching out for Paul and Tabillo as well, because Tabillo, despite losing early at the French Open, was playing really well before that on clay. Of course, this section of the draw will take on that Medvedev rude section. So if you want to go with the big names, maybe you go Alcaraz versus Medvedev. If you want to go something a little different and maybe a little more realistic, maybe you want to go with Alcaraz taking on Rude in the semifinals, which is probably where I'm going to go when I make picks and predictions. Or maybe you want to go something a little different. Maybe you want to go with Alcaraz taking on FAA. You know, they've played a bunch of times. Maybe if you don't think Alcaraz is going to get that far, maybe you want to go with Rude taking on Demonor if he comes good health-wise. Uh, health or maybe you want to go with Rude taking on Tabillo if you want to go something a little different. But interesting draw. And especially, I mean, look, the highlight of the draw is obviously Nadal versus Djokovic second round. Everyone's going to be talking about that forever and ever and ever if we get it because they're both going to win their first matches to get there. Uh, but by the way, it starts on Saturday, the draw. But I mean, look, Alcaraz is the favorite and I think he should be the favorite. I think his draw is manageable. Yeah, there's some there's some tough matches there, but I think Alcaraz should be the favorite and, and most likely makes the final. Djokovic, how's the knee going to look? Zverev, how's his knee going to look as well? I feel like Kasper Ruud also should be someone who's not to, not to be ignored, especially at this venue. But let me know in the comments below. Who do you think is going to win the gold medal at this year's Olympics? Because no sinner, you know, that does open up the, uh, the field a little bit and it maybe gives players a chance to win a silver or bronze medal that's maybe unexpected because, of course, that does happen at the Olympics. Sometimes you get some random finalists in this event, but there it is, the Olympic draw for the men's. Everything starts on Saturday.